Yeah. No, wait. I didn't say go. I said smile. <laughs> Ready? We're almost done. <sighs> he would say that um, he was not ashamed of who he was. It was just a part of who he was, just like anybody else. At 10 years old, Pearson Phillips was already battling against mental illness. Brave advocate of a son, Pearson. He began sharing his story with groups across Missouri. But he's just an old soul when it came to how he interacted with others a lot. I hope that by changing the story, I'm able to make the future better for those who come after me. But as he shared his message of hope and understanding. And we are all worth saving. We are all someone's loved one. Pearson's own fight with depression and anxiety was leading him down a dark path. But life isn't always easy. Therapy was no longer helping. Neither was medication. Pearson even convincing his psychiatrist he was doing better, when in truth, his will to live was almost gone. He was showing some self-harming behaviors, and I made sure that that was brought up. He completely talked his way out of that one, and I have no idea how. But, you know, when the doc you're supposed to trust the doctors, and when they tell you, I'm not concerned about this, you go, okay, I'm not. I don't need to worry, thank you. Because you want to hear that. You want to hear they're okay. Then, on January 25th, 2019. So the last thing I said to my son was that I love you no matter what. There's nothing you could ever do or say that would make me not love you. Ever. And he just kind of looked at me and shook his head. And I left him to do what he was doing, never, ever suspecting anything. That night, 14-year-old Pearson died by suicide. I don't know why. All that he left, um, he just, he, he typed up a note to me saying, I love you. That was it. Pearson's mom and dad knew they had to carry on Pearson's message to end the shame and stigma surrounding mental illness. So this is the display. They created the Pearson Project, which offers support to families who have lost someone to suicide, as well as education about living with mental illness. Recently, a comprehensive mental health services building in Independence was dedicated in Pearson's name. So knowing that we have a facility like this here in this area that hasn't been served um, before, this is a really important thing. A place where Pearson's spirit will live on through others who receive help here. Laura Moritz, KMBC 9 News.